try to get through this video uh, without like, getting a phone call, I left my camera at home. But what we're looking at is a pressure test on the system. Uh, we started off at 62.5 or 62.7 on the high side or on the low side, 62.1 on the high side or 62.5. I'm sorry, and you see it's dropped down, and you see it's it's not gone up. It's all the way down to 62.2, and eventually that'll be 62.1. And it'll stay there, and it'll eventually go down. What I did was I took the um, sorry, this thing's kind of shaky because. I left my camera at home using my iPhone. What I did was I took and I closed the liquid side and I closed the suction side valve off and I pumped an equal amount of Freon into both sides. And uh, so I've got my low side on my unit and I've got my high side on the um, line set side. So either the leak is going to be in the uh, line set or it's going to be in the coil and I'm going for the coil. What happened is I put a compressor in this thing in November, I believe. And um, he uh, saw me at a store actually and said, hey, that uh, main floor unit's not working again. So I came out and looked at it and sure enough, it was out completely out of Freon. I wouldn't be using nitrogen if it wasn't out of Freon. Um, I, of course, use my leak detector. But now that I know where the Freon leak is, it's on this side, it's on the valve side, the coil side of the unit. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is put a trace gas of uh, R22 in there, <clears throat> put some tracer in there instead of filling it up, and then get my leak detector out, go to the indoor coil, and look for the leak. Um, but I did, there was no way <clears throat> I was going to cut all this stuff off, let it set for 24 hours, and and um, go through all that just to find this because it is a heat pump. So I was fortunate enough to um, be able to close everything off, and then use one hose for my condenser or my outdoor unit, and one hose for my uh, line set coil. Um, this uh, um, line set goes from this unit, goes around, down on the ground, up through the hole, into the um, laundry room where the unit is. So I'm not worried about it. So we're still at 62.7 on the uh, condenser side or the heat pump side, and 62.1 on the line set coil side. So. <laughs> I guess another thing about this video, if you do not have a set of t digital gauges, you really, really need to get a set because you can see this in real time that my uh, my uh, pressure is dropping by the tenths. If you had a set of digital or analog gauges, um, you wouldn't be able to see it because it would still be setting on 62 and you'd be like, oh, there's no leak out here. So about every 10 minutes, this one will fall. So I'm going to give it another 15 minutes and see where it goes, but like I said, I really truly believe that it's in the coil, but it, it could be a chance that it's in the caps, uh, the main valve caps or the Schrader caps, and like I said, I'll use some Nylog on those and see if, um, see if it leaks by there, but I don't really see any like oil because this thing was completely out of Freon and, uh, since November. So there's a pretty good size leak somewhere. I didn't see one in the outdoor coil. But of course, uh, the pressure on the gauges isn't showing me uh, that the outdoor unit is leaking. So sometimes you do have to isolate them like this, but there's a much easier way than cutting it loose, brazing everything up. You just get a set of digital gauges and you can actually watch. Now look, it's it's not going up to 62.2 anymore, it's staying at 61.1 and now it'll go to 62.0 here in just a few minutes. So that does tell me the leak is on the line set coil side, which there's a 99% chance, 99.9% .9 chance it's in the indoor coil. Um, so like I said, I'm going to give it about 15 more minutes and then I will go put some 
trace gas of R22 and um, um, uh, check for a leak. And then if I find one in there, I'll let you know. Or well, I'll let you know where the leak's at. Alright, I told y'all wrong a while ago. So it's 61.8. It's down to 61.8. And the other one is 62.8. So, I actually <clears throat> told you wrong. I actually hooked up the high side to the con to the outdoor unit and the low side up to the coil. So it's not in the lines that coil. It's actually in the outdoor unit. So, I got some bubbles out. And, um, didn't realize it before I sprayed the bubbles, but down there at the bottom where, I'm, where all the leaves are, it's really, really dark. And that's not just from where I just sprayed the bubbles, but um, the reversing valve, I just noticed, had been changed before because of the coupling. So <clears throat> uh, there's a bunch of oil down there in those leaves. So I have a feeling, now I've checked my joints where I braze the compressor in, but I have a feeling that under that reversing valve um, is where the leak is. So, I'm going to be forced to get my, I don't know, maybe I can crawl down in there, but uh, I may have to get some Freon to put some tracer in there and get my leak detector and search around, but I have a feeling it's coming from under the reversing valve. So, or it could be coming from under the accumulator. Who knows? We'll find out in a bit, though. So here we go. Uh, got my leak detector out. I've kind of so where the three lines are going. Turn that thing off. Where the three lines go right there. Um, let's get the bubbles out now. See them bubbling up right there? Well, that's where the leak is. So, uh, there are times where you do have to isolate. This was one of those times where, where I felt like I needed to since I did just change the compressor in November. Um, and it wasn't low, low then. It just it had blown terminals then. So, um, no, I'm sorry. It had a grounded compressor then. So, that's what the story is. Got a leak right there. So I'm going to bring him down here and show him. 